In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to differentiate this function here from first principles. So the first thing I want to do is to actually write out the rule. I know that dy by dx is equal to the limit as delta x tends to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. So that's the rule we need to follow. So what we're going to get here is the limits as delta x tends to zero. Okay, so what is uh, f of x plus delta x? Well, that actually means we take this function here and wherever we see the x term, we replace it with x plus delta x. So this first term here, we would have x plus delta x. So I've replaced the x with x plus delta x, but obviously that is squared. Plus, this time we've got 2x, so it's 2x plus delta x plus 3. And now we need to subtract the original function. So we're going to subtract the original function. So I need to put this in brackets. So it's going to be x squared plus 2x plus 3. And all of that is over delta x. OK, so we've got the limit as delta x tends to zero of. So now what we need to do, we need to expand this bracket here. So I'll get x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Now hopefully you're okay with the expansion there. Plus, we'll get 2x here plus 2 delta x plus the 3. And I'll need to subtract this bracket here. So I'll have minus x squared minus the 2x minus the 3. And again, that is all over delta x. Okay, let's see if we can uh, cancel any terms here. Well, I can cancel the x squared term here with this x squared term. I can cancel this 2x with this 2x and the plus 3 and minus 3. Now we can look at the delta x's. Well, I can cancel delta x with delta x here, one of the delta x's here, and this delta x here. So what I'm actually left with is the limit as delta x tends to zero of, well, I've got the two x here, and I've got the delta x, and I've got the two here. Now we know that delta x tends to zero, so this term here will tend to zero as well. And what we're left with is 2x plus 